Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome to my channel. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I just wanted to explain that I am a licensed cosmetologist and I wanted to do a series on my channel kind of like explaining my photos and the process behind my photos that I post on Instagram because I do get people asking on there like what formula did you use or how did you do it because you just see like a crazy transformation and you're like how did that even happen. So I just wanted to share with you guys this picture. So this picture, get a good hard look at it the before and after. I did this girl's hair the other day and when I just saw the transformation, because sometimes it's like I don't even realize it till I look back at the picture and I'm like, wow, that actually was a big transformation. So if you looked at her before picture, let me put it back up here. If you look at her before picture, you can tell her hair is really yellow, very brassy, very golden. She was wanting to get more of a toned down brown. She was actually thinking of just doing one all over color. But one all over color isn't always going to give you the dimension that you want. So I suggested to do more of an ombre. She liked it being a darker shade of blonde, but she wanted some blonde pieces popping through. So she didn't want to go brunette. She still wanted to be blonde. She just wanted some blonde pieces popping through the bottom that were a little bit of an ashier tone. So let me explain this to you guys first. If you're not licensed, if you're not a hairdresser, um, you're not in beauty school, this the way I'm going to explain this could be like a foreign language to you, so I apologize in advance. So basically how I went about doing her hair is we did it as an ombre. So she had like a smudged root about like, you know, a couple inches out. It was probably, I would say, a level six. So what I did, since I wanted to blend it but still keep the, you know, a darker root, um, I didn't want to have to go back and lift her again. What we did is we took something that was a level six and we deposited it on top. And the way I like to do my ombres, balayage, anything like that is I do like a teardrop section on the top of their head. So you'll keep the lightness around your face and then there's more depth in the back. So we took that teardrop section and that whole teardrop like up here, that whole top and angled down in the back. All of that I did this, the six. And of course you go through at an angle. Everything I do for ombre and balayage is done at an angle. It's always angled like this to the away from the face. And same thing in the back of the head. If you go to the back of the head, the way that I work is up. Like this. Up. At an angle. I hope you guys could see that. But like at, it's like at an angle. Alright, so at the base, okay, this is what I'm going to explain to like hairdressers know these hair terms, okay, so zone one is where I applied the six, and because she was like a darker, we just stuck to the darker. Then what we did in zone two was because she had so much brass and so much um, of that golden tone and we wanted to get rid of that, we didn't necessarily need it to be more ashy, we just wanted it more toned down, not so bright. So what I did was I mixed an ash and I like to explain these things to my clients and when I told her I was going to mix up an ash, I did an 8 ash and mixed it with a little bit of a neutral. She was like kind of like, well I don't want it to be ashy and I'm like, well no, the ash is what counteracts the warmth. So sometimes explaining it, it can be a little confusing unless you're a hairdresser. So I took an 8 and that's where I applied it to zone 2, still at an angled place. And then once I went and I applied it, I just blended the two colors together. I blended the 6 and the 8 together so it would flow seamlessly. And really for like a perfect blend, you only need to separate, like do colors that are a couple shades apart because it makes it harder to blend when you're doing like a super high contrast color. So what we did was I did diagonal slices around the front and I weaved slices. I did diagonal weave slices around the front of her hairline, probably only up to here. I didn't even get up in here. So just, you know, in this area, probably up to about her eyes. So I weaved it and then just the bottom of the section is where I would apply the lightener. And I mixed a 10 volume and lightener. So it wasn't, if anything, it would lift at one level, but not really. It's just to get the colors to blend. And then I pulled it through. Then when we got into the back, what I did was I only took a couple sections on the bottom and made them blonde. I still wanted to keep that depth. And sometimes what people do is they go too high up in the back with the lightness and then you don't get that nice angle that you want. 
and I mixed up a 9T from Redken. I love shades. Redken Shades EQ is the best. If you don't use it, you need to get on it or find a similar line that you can do, but I mean, Redken Shades is it for me. Um, we really did that because I wanted to get her ashy. I wanted the ends an ashier blonde. You don't want to leave it on there too long. I left it on for two minutes. I didn't even leave it on for 10. I didn't even leave it on for the full 15 that they recommend. With some shades, I just left it on for two minutes and I washed it. Because if you leave the 9T on there too long, it will make it way too ashy, just not the color that you want. Well, we shampooed, um, conditioned, and what gave her hair that really nice shine is that I used It's a 10. I actually have some with me to show you guys. This is It's a 10. It's um, just a leave-in hair treatment. This is something that I use to um, protect her hair when we go and we heat style it, but it also adds a shine to the hair. So when we go and we curl it, it just, it looks amazing. So pick up It's a 10 if you don't already have it. All right guys, so hopefully this video helped you hairstylists out there and people who like this look but don't know how to achieve it. If you aren't following me on Instagram, it is Sammy Scott Styling. I will put it right here, but the link is down below in the description box. Make sure to go follow me. Let me know which ones um, you guys want to, me to give you the formulas for, and then I can always direct you back to a video once I make it. Thank you guys so much for following my YouTube channel and subscribing to my channel. And let me know below if there's any like video suggestions, anything else. Like You guys know I make videos on literally everything. So leave comments below letting me know what you want to see, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.